In this video, we are going to be installing Laravel, the PHP framework for web, uh, web artisans. So uh, quickly, I want us to install Laravel. And um, we are going to begin by installing the what we call the, the Laravel installer, which is going to enable us to install the Laravel that we want. Now, currently, I'm in my ZAM uh, HD docs. So uh, when you install your PHP application, of course, for you to create any PHP application, you need to be on your HD docs. So in this case, I'm, I'm in HD docs. And you can just quickly uh, identify that by going to one of your, just mine is just within the softwares. And then I just locate my ZAM. And where we have ZAM here is where I have HD docs. And then here I have all my PHP uh, projects within this uh, within this directory. So you need to be at ZAM, then htdocs. Here is where we will create our application. All right, so now here, what I need to do here, I just need to run this command. So double require, and here we're going to add Laravel, and then the Laravel installer. So this one is going to install for us the, the installer. So it will run for us the Laravel installer globally within our system. Unless I already uh, have it. So this is what we are going to have. So let's wait for it. Now, uh, we have our Laravel installer uh, installed. Now, this is what we're going to use. Now, we're going to use to create a new Laravel project. Now, let's go ahead and create a new Laravel project. And uh, the way I'm going to do here, the command is going to be uh, Laravel. And then uh, we're going to have new, so the new keyword. And then here, I'm going to have e-commerce because we are creating a symbol e-commerce yes and then the laravel new then e-commerce app and then okay so now here it tells us if you like to work with any uh, starter kit uh, in this case we are not using any starter kit so we just go with the first one which is none so which testing for php framework you prefer um mostly we go with the php unit because this one i've used this one to to write symbol test for my applications uh, so i'm familiar with the first one so let me use that one then um would you like to initialize a git repository oh yes okay so let it install and let's wait for it just a few minutes now since our application has been installed so what this command has done is it has just created a new directory with your project a name and uh, it has installed a new fresh of laravel relation that is within that directory from us now here the next thing here is just to go cd then i just need to us up so that means now i'm the, i mean now that directory now from that directory i can run the php artisan serve but before i do that i'm using zam here Let's just have a ZAM, that the ZAM. Okay, so now, uh, since we are in that uh, directory and I have my ZAM here opened, now here you need to start the two. And of course, to use ZAM, you just need to go to their website here. You can locate for ZAM by just going to this website. Then um, when, you, when you click enter, you take in to download a ZAM. So ZAM here, since I'm using Windows, you can look for the Windows version. For those using Linux, this is the one uh, for you. So you can just download and it is a straightforward thing. And then you just run the necessary commands to install, especially for Linux. Um, and then for Windows, uh, I believe you just need to install and then you get started. So type in 127, the local host will ensure that ZAM has been installed within your application in this case. So when you navigate, for example, to phpMyAdmin, you're able to see that ZAM has been installed correctly and it's right. So now once the, uh, that is done, we need to go back here. So that means here I can run php serve like this. When I run this command, you do it to start the server to run on this local host and from there i'm able to navigate to that local host like this and see my laravel application has been installed successfully 
So this is Laravel 10, uh, and that's what we are using to work with our REST API. Now, um, now next here, we'll, um, we'll now set up the database so that we can do the migration here. So what I want you to do here quickly is to go to, first of all, let's, uh, let's open this. Let me just uh, have another git bash here. So this git bash here, I'm just going to use it. But let me just use the first one to just go here, just run this open for project. Now this is our directory and I'm just going to go to the terminal. Now from the terminal here, what I want us to do, uh, let me use the git bash because the one yeah, now what, what I want us to do here, the last thing here is just to set up the database and to set, set up the database is very easy. We just need to go to the .env file, which is your environmental variables whereby you set within your Laravel. You can see automatically, since this is the name of the project, it has already uh, given my database with this name and I'm not going to change it. Uh, since for the DB port is still going to be the same because it is the one that we are using in our MySQLite, so this is that is 306 and then uh, what else the username is root because we have not done any changes so when i go to uh, my exam the one and i go to user accounts you can see here the password there's no password the lo the host name is local host or that is either this one or you can use this one so the two of them work uh, together and then there's no any so the, the username is uh, the username is root as you can see here so we don't need to do any changes there so i'm going to leave them as they are now when i run the php artisan now this is a change with laravel 10 so with laravel 10 i don't need to come here manually and click new to create the database which of course it, it would have been e-commerce app this and then click create so i don't need to do this so what will happen just watch when i run php artisan migrate when i run php artisan migrate it it is about to tell me that the database e-commerce does not exist because of course i have not created it here remember here i was just showing you so what i'll need to do here is just to eat yes so that it can create database and then do the migrations and that's all we have so when i come back here and reload this we can see here that we have the we here we have the e-commerce and then that is the application that is the the migrations that have been done so in the next video we shall now be building the rest api with laravel and then at the end we shall now start with the Vue.js so that we can now connect them together